Hello Mallards! Today is Saturday and today I am inside the Orlando Shakespeare Theatre because I'm about to see Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. I'm very excited for the show for several reasons. First off, because I'm excited for the performers that are in it. Uh, and also because I've heard the staging is really cool, so I'm excited to see how they've laid out the theater and what that looks like. So I think it's going to be really fun, and I'll check back in with you when it's over. This is amazing. I don't even recognize this theater. I'm in here all the time. It never... This is so cool. Ah, oh, it's so pretty and it's so awesome. I love it. I'm obsessed. The show is over now. I had an absolutely lovely time. Uh, it was an interesting staging. I took a little video of it because I was obsessed with it like the instant I came into the theater. But I really liked the way that it was created. And this is I think what people should create when they say that a performance is immersive. Like this truly was a no proscenium performance in that there was no fourth wall. We were at Emerson's Bar and Grill. The actors were directly interacting with us we were part of the performance and it's a little bit different than like immersive and interactive like we do where the audience has agency or uh, you can sort of experience a different narrative by how you choose to move around the story. So there wasn't an interactive element, but this was an immersive show. This was a show where the audience is actually part of the performance. Our reactions were acknowledged when people cheered or laughed, it was nodded at. The speaking was directly to us. Uh, there were moments where Lady Day like took her bottle around and set it on the different tables up front and interacted directly with the audience that way. And I really enjoyed that. I like a staging that is interesting and dynamic like that. And that was really fun for me and is immersive in a way that intimate theater, which sometimes people call immersive, is not. Because if you still have that fourth wall up, then I don't think your performance is immersive or your theater is immersive. But this absolutely was. And so that was really fun. As an immersive interactive creator, I love even just a light immersive staging like this. Uh, it, this reminds me also of the Lennox Avenue show at the Wren, where you're just, you actually are there. You're part of everything. Uh, and I love that. And I thought that the set was gorgeous. The band was incredible. The music was so good. And I came to the show because the actress, Tamisha Harris, was supposed to be in it. But I don't know if she was because gosh darn it, I've seen her in a lot of things and I've seen her perform a lot. And I'm pretty sure I just watched Billie Holiday on stage and I didn't see Tamisha at all. And it was wild. She is so talented. And to watch her just utterly transform into this other character was incredible. Like, there was no question who was up on that stage at any point in time, from start to finish, in every little way, even in the little facial expressions, in the way she sang, the timbre of her voice, uh, the way she moved her mouth, the way she moved her hands, like everything was so deliberate and so well done and I was so freaking impressed. I also want to mention I talked about Tamisha being great but she's not the star of the show. This is Chip. Chip plays Peppy. Uh, who was the real star of the show if we're all honest. More people got excited when you came out than they got for anybody else. Yes. Yes. Lady Day says you hold the whole band together and we all believe that. The sweetest star ever. The show is very, very good. It still runs for another weekend. You should absolutely check it out if you have a chance. Lady Day at Emerson Bar and Grill. I'll put a link to tickets down there. Please go. It's fun. It's interesting. It's a dynamic setting. The music is beautiful. And I think you'll have a great time. I'm going to go to another show this evening, but I'll tell you about it when I see you tomorrow.